Hi, I'm Joe, product manager for the Smart IQ system. In our Beta 1 video for IQ 3.0, we showed off some new features like our home screen experience. For this Beta 2 video, I'm going to show you some enhancements we've made to that and some other new features. The first is the ability to change the wallpaper on the home screen. If you go to Settings and then Wallpaper, we have some predefined options that we've included. Uh, you can browse, they'll take effect in the background as you go. I like this ocean one. And that will set it as your wallpaper. Coming in beta three, we'll have the ability for you to select your own wallpaper using a thumb drive. Here on the home screen, uh, there's some other new things at the bottom. Like one of them you'll see is the apps library. If you visit the apps library, you'll see some pre-populated web apps that we've included that could be things that will show up in our store in a later beta. Right now, just to give you the feel of what it would be like to have a populated app store, we've added some. If you want to pin any of these to your home screen, all you have to do is tap the star in the top corner of the tile to make it a favorite. And you can see I've got lynda.com added here. You can also add other things to favorites, uh, like tapping the star on recents will pop them over into favorites. If you want to rearrange the way the tiles appear in favorites, all you have to do is press and hold to put the home screen in edit mode. If you press and hold again, it'll lift a tile and let you drag it around. Just position it where you want it to drop and let go. If you're moving a half size tile, uh, those will move just like they would otherwise. When you're done and you have the home screen laid out the way you like, just tap anywhere off a tile to put it back in normal mode. So one of the other new features that we have is the ability for multiple devices to connect in screen share. So inside screen share lobby, you'll see that we have uh, two placeholder tiles for connections. When the first person connects, uh, they will go full screen right away. When subsequent people connect, you'll see a notification appear at the bottom that a new device is connected. If you tap the screen, hitting the back button on the command bar will take you back to the screen share lobby where you'll see the both devices connected. The images that you see here, both devices are live. Uh, tapping between them lets them trade places so that you can determine who's in control. You can treat that like a queue. And while you're here in the lobby, you can also just pick up a pen and write if you wanted to compare two things, for example. And that works just like normal annotation does. You can keep it or discard it when you're done. And then if you want to let go of someone, just tap the disconnect button and they'll disconnect. The last feature I want to show you is uh, a new feature that's going into Player. And this is essentially a new beta whiteboard experience that we're going to move the existing IQ whiteboard to in a future release. We want to get this out to you so that you can give feedback early on. So here's an example of a whiteboard that I've done in the player experience. So one of the first things you'll notice is instead of being bound to a short, long whiteboard, like you are in the IQ whiteboard, this whiteboard moves in both directions. So we can pan up and down. Uh, we can do other things that player allowed, like tap ink and move ink around. No more restrictive write or erase only, like the IQ whiteboard. And another cool thing is you can use pinch to zoom in and out uh, so that you can see your whole whiteboard canvas at once or zoom into small parts of it. Anyway, that's it for Beta 2. If you'd like to learn more about Beta 2 or learn how to join the Beta channel so that you can try out this experience on your board, visit us at smarttech.uservoice.com.